Hi, it's Phil from TeachBlend, and today we're going to look at Microsoft Teams and Kahoot. So what we're going to look at is how we can add the Kahoot app into Microsoft Teams so that we can access it all from our Microsoft Teams interface. We'll also look at how we can share quizzes in Microsoft Teams, for example, in a remote session, so you can do this live with students and how they can access it. But we'll also look at how students can actually do the quiz in their own time as well via Microsoft Teams. I hope you find it useful. So the first thing to do is add the Kahoot app. So I'm just going to click the plus and then you can either find it in the list or search Kahoot. Here you'll see I've found Kahoot now and I'm just going to click it. You'll see a quick preview where it explains Kahoot and then you'll just need to click the add button. And then what you'll need to do is log in so that you can add the Kahoot to your team. I'm going to log in with Microsoft but there is other options available as well. Once you've done that you're going to click the add Kahoot button and then choose save. And what this will do is it'll actually post a announcement in the channel, but also a tab. And as you can see here, it will then bring in all your quizzes. I'm going to click play now and show you how to assign a quiz first. So an assign is like a session that the students do in their own time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a date due for this and then a time that I'm doing. So this is great for students who might not be able to access a live session, but it also means that students can do this in their own time if you were doing things like formative assessment and it was really, really useful information that you needed about how well they were progressing. They could have a bit more time and in their own time to be able to do the quiz. So here you'll see in post now that that quiz has been created and that challenge can then be opened by the students. And you'll also see a deadline as well on how long they've got left to do it. So as a student, what I can then do is click open challenge and then I can do this Kahoot. Again, remember the students are doing this in their own time, just like a quiz. So here I'm going to join, I'm going to put my name in and then I'm going to click OK. So what this will do is it will essentially work exactly the same as a normal Kahoot, but rather than it being more competitive, it's a little bit more self-directed study. So a bit of asynchronous learning. So here you'll see some answers. I can then choose these answers and it works exactly the same as a regular Kahoot. Another option that you can do is you can actually do a live session within Microsoft Teams for remote learning. So I'm going to click teach now and you'll see that this comes up. But a top tip is actually to set up your live session, your meeting first, then share your screen and then open up Kahoot. So here you'll see I've got a live session created. I'm just going to join this meeting now and all the students would join this as well, just as usual. Once the join meeting has been clicked and you are talk to your students, you tell them you're going to do a quiz. You can then share your screen, um, either the window or the desktop. In this example, I'm going to share my desktop, but it doesn't really matter because you're doing it in Teams. And then what I'm going to do is then open up Kahoot. So here you'll see what I'm doing is I'm just going into my uh, Kahoot page in my Microsoft team, and I'm just going to choose the quiz that I want the students to do. In this example, it's just an English one that I've created, um, well, duplicated. So here you'll see I'm just going to click Teach now, and then I'm going to just set up the options. There's a couple of options you can do, either classic or team mode. Um, in this example, I'm just going to use classic. And then the students can then view this Kahoot and complete it online. Now, it will mean sometimes that they'll need actually two devices. So here I've told the students to join on their phone and actually on their PC so they can see the questions and they can actually answer using their mobile phone. If they haven't got two devices, what they could do is like this example here, I've opened up two web browsers. So I've joined the remote session um, and the team using one web browser or the downloaded app of Teams. And then I've created another tab where I'm actually going to see the um, questions and the answers as well. So I've used two separate screens. So you could tell students to do this if they've only got one device and it works quite well. I hope you found this video useful. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe to TeachBlend. It really does help me create more videos. Thank you very much.